Hi everyone, and welcome to a series of short videos where we will give you a quick overview of psychology concepts, rare and strange psychiatric disorders, and some other interesting things in the world of psychology and neuroscience. This episode is about de Clarenbaugh's syndrome, which is also known as erotomania in modern classification systems. De Clarenbaugh's syndrome was first described in 1927 by a French psychiatrist of the same name. The disorder can be described as a form of paranoid delusion about being the object of another person's love. People suffering from de Clarenbaugh's syndrome, more commonly women, are utterly convinced that another person is deeply in love with them, despite this person never having shown any affection towards the sufferer, and they haven't given the patient any reason to believe this imaginary love exists. The subject of the sufferer's delusion is typically older and of higher social status than the afflicted person, and may sometimes be a famous actor, TV personality, or artist. The delusion causes the sufferer to believe that the subject is lying when they truthfully say that they do not hold such feelings. However, this can take a darker turn, as the subject insists that no affection exists. The delusions can lead to persistent stalking, threatening, or other dangerous behaviours. Repeated rejections from the innocent subject may be interpreted as hidden or cryptic declarations of love to the de Clarenbo sufferer, where insistence on the reality of the situation serves to paradoxically strengthen their delusion. The patient will often rationalise that the love the subject has cannot be made public, for example. Sufferers often do not seek help for de Clarenbo's syndrome, as they are often unaware of the psychiatric significance of their behaviour. It may only be addressed after police have become involved to disrupt the harmful effects of the delusion. The disorder can then be treated with therapy and antipsychotic medication, and with effective treatment, delusional symptoms can subside in up to 50% of patients. If you are interested, Enduring Love by Ian McEwan does a fantastic fictional justice to the disorder. Well worth a read. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing for more content like this.